Okay, welcome to an H of Expert Gaming videos today. We're going to be doing something slightly different with video wise. Uh, this is a new series that I've kind of uh, thought about, and that is uh, pretty much just uh, tips and tricks in FIFA 13. So, any tricks that I can give you um, that will help you out, will do anything for you. I will be bringing you them in a kind of not a kind of like a series, but it's not going to be like a planned series. It's going to be one of them series that uh, if I've got any ideas, I will uh, pass them on to you. So yeah, um, the first the first thing I wanted to kind of give to you uh, as like like a little tip is the um, what's it called skill games. This is a big one as you see. I'm I'm failing miserably, um, and oh, I was meant to do a bit of skill there, but and just a little dink over. But as you can see, the skill games is a brilliant way. If I just quickly uh, quit and go into something different, I don't want to spend all my time on one. But um, yeah, so skill games is a brilliant way, especially when you get to the end, um, to kind of um, keep your skills in order. So anything that you uh, you find that you're not as good at, in, uh, free kicks, perfect way. Or even if you just get like someone who's like in your team, say if you're doing all my team, even though they are different, they are kind of the same. Um, like as in stats wise, but if you can just even just like do some crosses like this, as you can tell, you can just like knock a ball in, volley that ball. You could, yeah, you don't have as many defenders. You can do practice mode as well. Obviously, that's a good one. That's probably a more realistic match situation one. But uh, skill games I find is a bit more enjoyable as well than uh, constantly doing um, the the whole practice uh, arena. So this is just if you want a bit of fun as well with it. Also, you can get a little bit of an achievement if you're a little bit of an achievement whore. Uh, but yeah, so I find this really good to do. Um, I find skill games being one of the, the top things that you want to do when you're uh, when you're just starting the game because it does develop your skills. Uh, it may be like kind of one of the things that was meant for pure enjoyment rather than like actually helping you out. But it does help you out if you actually uh, play it. It uh, is really good to play. So um, obviously, I, I, that, that's my first tip for you. Uh, if I just quickly go out of here. And I'll go into another one, um, but yeah. So skill games. That is my number one tip for to, uh, for today. Uh, if you've got any tips that you want me to uh, go up to, um, definitely comment that in the description. I've got some already that I'm planning. So it's just all about executing them at the minute. But yeah. So as you can tell, you can go to any skill games really. Free kicks, passing's a really good one because it's hard to pass that. Uh, getting it around the players, it's really hard to do. Um, even if you want to do like maybe the uh, the the, um, the kind of levels a bit before, uh, so you've got a bit more chance. Uh, free kicks is a really good one for our free kicks. Definitely is a, a very um, tough one, especially at the end. Um, and the one before where you've got to hit the different targets. Um, I find them really good for especially FIFA 13 with the whole new free kicks. I don't think I've really ever used the new free kick apart from uh, when you've got to do the fake one to get the achievement. But that's really it to be fair. So. Um, that's a good one if you want to learn some new free kicks and try and outwit your opponent. The shooting, that's definitely a good one. Also, it does develop your manual skills as well. That does uh, It does help if you're willing to kind of take FIFA to that extreme and try and be a manual player. But for me, I'm just kind of just getting along, doing some tips and tricks, um, doing the ultimate team kind of normal stuff. And that's really it. So that is my tip for you definitely today. Um, I did want to give you the dribbling. That's a beautiful free kick. I did want to give you the dribbling one, but... Really, um, a lot of people have already seen that from my achievement. Uh, my uh, what was it the when you get the achievement for getting legendary, uh, getting over the, the like the amount to get. Um, I did manage to pick that up. So uh, and I did do that on the free kick, in fact. And you can actually get it over this wall as well. If you're wondering, and I got it in the boxes. So yeah, so there you go. There's my first tips and tricks video for you. If you have any questions, any uh, concerns or whatever, comment that in the description. Uh, in the description, in the comment section below. And I will answer, answer your questions gladly. So if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe and rate, comment and like. Bye-bye.